All right, that's what burned up right there. That's that L530 plug and the receptacles right there. And what I did, I just got back from Lowe's and went and got some 83 THHN rated wire and wired it into the AC in on the inverter. Ran it through some nice conduit here into that elbow there and then mechanically twist them together uh, the AC in line there and then put some wire nuts and then to hold the wires together I used some black tie straps you know, zip strips in there too and buttoned everything back up in there fired everything back up uh, went into charger mode which is good and after a while after the batteries got charged up went into inverter mode and fired up the midnights and I'm good to go I'm transferring power again back over through the Reliance Controls transfer panel and into mains. And one thing I did also was grab a 50 amp circuit breaker that I might install to replace the 40 amp one I have in there right now. We'll see. We'll see how that 40 amp holds up there. I'll show you again. Right up there. That's a 40 amp right up there, but pulling a circuit breaker out, it's easy peasy, but we'll see. So I got essentially eight three out of here over to the uh, inverter area. That's what the electrician did for me. I'm kind of glad I did eight three. It's good for up to 50 amps according to the national electric code. So I think it's going to be safer and hopefully it lasts, but you know, this system is, is not ideal at all. This is a 24 volt inverter, 24 volt battery bank down here. Um, in a couple weeks, we'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm probably gonna do lithium, get rid of all these. And I got four sitting off there, deader than a doornail. And uh, go with lithium. I may put the lithiums inside for air conditioning. And, who knows maybe i'll see if i can get a deal on a 48 volt inverter and just do a 48 volt system for more for better efficiency but we'll see see how this works out but um so far so good knock on wood with that uh install there this morning no fire bad but man i tell you that was one cooked dumb thing i did and i, and I originally had this for my honda generator to you know quick disconnect if i wanted ac power from the honda generator put it directly into the system but since I'm using that charger function more often to keep these old batteries topped off all the time this is too much for that connector and low there so now I got heavy-duty service going into the inverter